In Binghamton, as the Crunch gets set for the Binghamton Devils, it is the first game out of the holiday break for the Crunch and the sixth matchup this season with the Binghamton Devils. On Countdown to Crunch Time, presented by Supercuts, I'm Lucas Favalli with Crunch goaltending and video coach Carl Gehring. Carl, it is the first game back for the Crunch. It's against the Binghamton Devils, but last week, back-to-back uh, -back wins to close out the pre-holiday break schedule, including a nice come-from-behind victory on Saturday. What did you see in that game Saturday night against the Penguins? Yeah, it was, uh, guys showed a lot of good perseverance there. Um, you know, I obviously had a lot of power play chances, but uh, it can be frustrating at times when you're not getting the bounces. And, you know, I think we had three crossbars. So, um, you know, I was really impressed with how guys just stuck with it, kept plugging away, kept uh, working for those opportunities and finally getting rewarded at the end. And uh, it is, I guess, maybe a game that you said shows a lot because it's the last game before the holiday break. You're hitting so many posts and it doesn't feel like it's going your way. And at that point, you know, you could have one foot out the door going to the break, but yeah. the guys found a way to rally and, and, and come back and win that game in overtime, two big points. Uh, what does that say about the perseverance and, the, and the, you know, the character of this team? Yeah, it definitely speaks to our group here. Um, you, you know, th those games aren't easy when, uh, you know, you're, you're hitting crossbars, you're doing everything, and, and uh, you know, their goalie made a lot of stops too. And and um, as you said there, it, it can be easy to kind of just uh, go the other way with it. But uh, again, having that ability to stick with it, uh, battle through and to find a way is a big thing. And, um, you know, that's, that's going to be important uh, for the rest of the year here. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, ups and downs throughout the course of a year. And uh, the ability to stay with things no matter how it's going or how things seem is uh, so critical. And uh, that game, I'm sure, not an easy one to play from a player perspective with so many power plays and penalty kills. I mean, there was 11 for the crunch seven power plays for the Penguins. So it is a game that was predominantly on the special teams. Uh, from uh, the coaching side of things, how challenging is it to, you know, to, to go through a game like that where there is just so much on the special teams? Sure. Um, you know, it, it definitely takes a little bit of the rhythm away from the game and, uh, you know, especially from uh, what you're trying to do with Lions in, in terms of getting guys out there. Uh, obviously, you've got different groups for penalty kill, different groups for power play. So uh, it comes a little bit of a juggling game once, uh, once you get into a game like that. And, uh, you know, it, it just makes life a little bit more interesting for everybody and uh, both sides of the coin. So, uh, again, I uh, thought guys did a good job of, of managing it, managing their time on the power play, penalty kill, what, what have you, and uh, doing a good job with it. And it was one of the first times this year we've seen the crunch power play not really come through. I mean, they had one power play goal, but with 11 chances, uh, you figure. But there were so many chances created, too. So I, I guess from what you guys have looked back on, still you like, I, I assume, what you saw on the power play, even though it didn't really come through. Yeah, and, and I think that's a big thing to focus on for special teams wise. Uh, you know, you, you want to create that good energy for your team. And uh, when you're creating and doing good things, uh, you know, it kind of sparks things too as well. So even though you're not getting rewarded all the time, uh, it still definitely builds into the game. So uh, again, that's how it goes uh, some nights. And uh, again, fortunately, we were able to stick with it and get, get a good win out of it. Crunch, you're getting set for the Binghamton Devils here first day after the holiday break for the Crunch. Looking back at the game on Saturday against the Penguins, uh, Carter Verhage, we mentioned a couple of the posts. He had two of them for sure yep. Yep. and so many great looks and he finally gets rewarded with that game winning goal in overtime. So for him to, to be one of those guys who stuck with it and stay positive and he's having a great year so far but gets that game winning goal. What does that show from him? Yeah, it was, uh, you know, he was around it all, all the game that uh, last game against Wilkes-Barre there and, uh, you know, he, he definitely is a guy that has a nose for the net. So um, it was it was nice to see him get rewarded after uh, creating all those chances, doing so many good things and, you uh, you know, not getting uh, not getting through up until that point. So really fun to see for him. And the Crunch put up over 40 shots against the Penguins. It was a pretty lopsided game from that perspective. And from the Crunch's side, tough game for Eddie Pasquale to play because we've seen so many uh, of those, you know, lopsided chances in the other direction. He's got to be sharp, but he had to be. And, and you can't mention that game without talking about those two big saves in the third period, the two glove saves going post to post across. What did you see from Eddie there uh, on uh, Saturday night? Yeah, you know, and, and talking about energy, I always think that's a big thing too. And and I uh, thought that was actually a good spark for us uh, in, in the third there with Eddie coming coming through with a couple big saves there. Um, and, and certainly not uh, not always the easiest games as a goaltender when you're you're not getting a ton of action and, you know, a lot of power plays, a lot of penalty kill. And, um, you know, but but again, his uh, his ability to stay focused through that, um, stay ready and uh, obviously come through with a couple big save, timely saves for us was, was huge. We're here with Crunch goaltending and video coach Carl Gehring. The Crunch are getting set for the Binghamton Devils. And there were two 
very similar saves going post to post and reaching across with that glove. What makes him good on, on those situations? Is there anything in particular or is those just two really good saves? You know, I think those were two really good reads for, for Eddie and, uh, you know, obviously he, he was going going all out with those. Uh, you kind of see uh, see how he finished there, but uh, Eddie's such a good pro and uh, definitely has a good glove hand that he was uh, fortunate to show off there a little bit, which was fun. And he's getting set to take over some of the bulk of the load here with Connor Ingram on the shelf for a couple weeks is what Ben Gru said after the game on uh, on Saturday. So uh, he's obviously a vet. He's been around for a long time and can certainly take over the number one position for the crunch. But what do you expect to see from him over the next couple of weeks? You know, I, I think, uh, you know, having a guy like Eddie, we're so fortunate. Uh, he's been around the league. So uh, any situation that we have, uh, you know, he's a guy that I know is, has been through it, is prepared and uh, is going to give us his best at any time he's in. So, um, you know, we're, we're fortunate to have him here. And, uh, you know, like you said here, we'll, he'll be uh, he'll be relied on here in the next little bit. But uh, again, he's uh, such a great pro and a uh, great teammate for our, for our whole group. Crunch are getting set for the Binghamton Devils. We're here on Cal down to Crunch time presented by Supercuts with Crunch goaltending and video coach Carl Gehring. It's a sixth matchup over the season already with Binghamton. It's the team the Crunch have played the most here so far this year. The Crunch have had good success against Binghamton, uh, but they're obviously a pretty solid team here in the North Division. What do you expect to see from this Binghamton team here tonight out of the holiday break? Yeah, they're, they're certainly uh, somebody you, you don't want to take lightly. Uh, you know, they, they beat the best teams in our division, and uh, they, they've got a very uh, very good team here, so uh, we, we know that. We know, uh, we know what to prepare for with them uh you know they're, they're going to come off the rush they're going to play fast and uh, we've got to be ready for that all right looking forward to it tonight is the crunch take on the binghamton devils this is crunch goaltending and video coach carl Gehring. carl thanks for your time and good luck tonight all right thank you